and welcome to another video with Leslie. Uh, today uh, I'm here for the MB's Treasurista Teach Me Tuesday and um, what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be making a chunky charm or a um, uh, chunky keychain. Um, you can use it for either. So. Um, Let's get started, and what you see before you is a, a bunch of beads and um, some products from MB's Treasurista. I'll go ahead and point those out first. Um, we have the clear icicle crystal that we'll be using, and we have the silver bead caps. We'll be using those, and we'll also be using um, the silver little butterfly in our ch in our charm today. Okay, so um, let's get started, and uh, we're just gonna wing it because um, I don't know exactly what I'm gonna do yet. <laughs> so uh, I mean, as for the design, so we're just gonna we're just gonna have fun and we're gonna play. Okay, so. Um, as I said, you'll need, you know, various um, beads, charms, um, bead caps, O-rings, um, and I have this chain that we're going to put it all together with, and then um, you'll probably you'll need these um, eye pins, jewelry eye pins, okay, and then of course you'll need your um, jewelry pliers, and wire cutters. All right, so let's get started. Okay, I think uh, at first we're gonna uh, we're going to add the chain to the keychain, and or, or I'm sorry, the like the clasp here to the chain. Okay. And one thing you want to do with your um, O-rings is you never want to take them apart this way. You always want to do them at an angle like um, this way. Hopefully you can see that. You want to bend them this way so that they're um, easier to bend back. Okay, I'm going to zoom in a little bit closer here. Hopefully here you can see. Alright. So we're just going to take this and we're going to add our chain. Okay. And then you can take your pliers to bend them back. To bend the o-ring back. Oops. Goodness. It's been a while since I made a, ch a charm, so I forgot to add this. Okay, you want to add your your clasp. Okay, so let's go ahead and get that back. Put that on. Okay, so now we have the foundation for our uh, charm slash keychain. So then. Basically what we're going to do is we're just going to start adding beads to the eye pins and then we'll add these eye pins to the chain to form the chunky charm. Okay, so let's see, we're going to use, uh, let's use a bead cap, we're going to thread that. And let's see. Let's get a pearl. Let's do a pink pearl. Okay. And then let's get another bead cap. I love the way the bead caps make make your little findings look. They just make them look so elegant and so 
so beautiful okay so we'll do that and let's see we have all kinds of little beads here to work with I just picked out a variety of different beads from my stash uh, let's do a little white pearl Oops. well if I could get this on we would be good to go there we go okay Like you said, we're just winging it today with the design. So if there's something you know that that doesn't look right, we'll just redo it. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna get a different bead cap. That one. Yeah, let's get a different one. That one looks better. Okay, and let's see, actually on this one I think that's all we're going to do. Okay, so then what you're going to do is you're going to cut your wire, because of course this is too long, cut your wire, and then we're going to bend the wire to form the loop for the end. need to get a new pair of these needle nose pliers because this is always coming apart. <laughs> All right. So you're just going to bend that. Until you get a nice little ring at the bottom. Okay. So then we'll take another O-ring. bend that out and we're going to add it to our our dangle okay and then we'll come along and we'll add this to our chain we'll have this one kind of up high okay and we'll close close the o-ring up okay and now you have a little dangle charm. Okay. All right. And now I think we're going to take, let's see, I want my butterfly kind of up high. Um, so we'll do this next. And I hope you can see here what I've done is I have taken the butterfly and I've already added my O-ring okay by threading it through the nylon um, right here on the back there's a little um, a little like um, gathered up point where the nylon is all you know comes together and I've just kind of added an o-ring through that nylon right there okay and that is now gonna like kind of like turns this into a charm you know or um, so that we can add it to to our, our uh, wire here or chain I'm sorry okay so we'll just bend that out and let's see so I want the butterfly up high so it kind of looks like it's flying I don't know if we should add it to that I think we will I think we will. I think we'll add it to the bottom of this right here. 
Okay. So we're going to take it, thread it through, and then we'll close it up with our pliers. Okay. Let's see how that looks. Okay. We may have to um, come in with a little bit of like glue to hold this. So I'm going to heat up my, because see how it's kind of falling. So what we'll do is we'll come back in a little bit and we will hot glue that to kind of keep it together right there, okay? But we'll go ahead and go on because my hot glue gun is not heated up. So we will come back to that. Okay, so there we have the first little element. Okay. So now what we're going to do, we are going to take another eye pin. And let's see, this time we're going to do, we're going to make a bunch of, of, of long beads. So let's do a silver. And then let's do this bright little pink one. Okay. And then let's do another silver. Kind of get a little pattern going here. Okay. And let's see, what else do we want to do? Um, let's do this little pink flower bead right here. And then let's finish it off with another silver. Okay, so that's going to be our next element to add. So we'll clip a little bit off, and then we're going to come back and make our loop for the end. Okay, and now we will close up the o-ring okay and I think maybe on the end of this we're going to add one of these charms so I want to add this cross so let's get another o-ring charm, add it, and then we can add it to the bottom of, of this element right here. And sometimes these O-rings, you know, can be quite testy so you just have to work with them until you get them closed up correctly okay so there I think that looks really pretty so far what do you think very nice okay so then, let's see, probably a couple more elements and then, then we'll be done. So let's take another eye pen and let's do, let's do a white pearl. And then I want to do 
um, some more bead caps. And then we should just need like one more element here. And then we should be done. So take another eye pen. And let's see, I wanted to use this bead. So let's do let's do a silver and then a small pink pearl. And then this pretty flower bead that I had. Okay, and then a pink pearl. And then a silver. Okay. Trim off the excess, which there really isn't that much on that one, but you still want to trim it off. Okay, and make our loop. For the end. And then on the end, we're going to add our crystal icicle. Okay, so we'll need a larger O-ring for that. We'll add it to... Okay. And then we... The chain is a little bit longer than what I want so we will um, we will trim that off okay all right now we're gonna add this to our chain oops We're going to add it to our element. And then we'll add our element to the bottom. Okay. Be our last, our last element. Hmm. It's wanting to be stubborn today, huh? There we go. And we'll close that up. Okay. So that is the end. So what we're going to do we're going to just um, Come in close and clip off the link. Okay. And there we go. And now we have our chunky charm. 
keychain with lots of bling and baubles. Okay, we're going to go back in now that our, my glue gun is heated up. And we're just going to add a little bit of glue right here to the back of the butterfly so that we can make him stand upright. Okay, just kind of right back there. A little bit of hot glue and then we'll just twist him around into into that so that he kind of stays upright. Okay. Instead of being upside down butterfly. We don't want an upside down butterfly. Okay, so there we go. I'm going to move this stuff out of the way and I'm going to zoom in so that you can see all the elements. Okay. Get them right. And kind of move it up so you can see. So that is how you make a chunky charm or a chunky keychain. Um, if you wanted to do it as a keychain, you could just add the keychain ring to the to this instead of the charm um, the charm clasp here. You would just add a uh, keychain ring. So there you go, ladies. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, sorry it took a long time. Like I said, doing stuff on camera with jewelry, you know, it's kind of, uh, you know, can be tricky and stuff. So uh, if you made it to the end here, I appreciate you sticking with me. And I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And I hope you have a great day. Until next time, talk to you later. Bye-bye. Thank you.